The world's rainforest movement records show that 70 to 80 percent of Nigeria's original forest has disappeared. The implication is that many plants and animal species are on the brink of extinction. This global problem caused by agricultural expansion and overexploitation of natural resources is what the UN-led post-2020 Global Biodiversity Framework seeks to tackle. So Nigeria is in particular really, really in bad shape in terms of the rate and the scale at which we lose nature. Uh, that's what I call biodiversity, it's really talking about nature. About five years ago, Nigeria has the highest rate of deforestation in the world. So that shows you that uh, nature is going even faster in Nigeria than in other places. We want to avoid that. We want to ensure that man doesn't go into extinction. And that's why we are now raising awareness and raising the issues of the necessity to conserve biological resources. At this gathering, experts are putting together Nigeria's position on the 21 set targets and 10 milestones of the biodiversity framework to be presented by negotiators when the parties meet this year in China. Nations have come together through the auspices of the United Nations to try to put together steps and strategy within a framework to ensure that we are able to uh, put in place processes that will make us reduce our footprint, reduce how much we are destroying nature. But also bring the private sector, bring uh, civil society, NGOs and grassroots organizations, and bring academicians so that it's an all of society thing, not a government or NGO or private sector. All of us Nigerians are now round the table discussing what should we be saying as Nigeria when our negotiators go to interact with other countries. A successful framework, according to these experts, must include a mission to reverse the loss of biodiversity and increase species abundance by 2030 through rights-based and whole-of-society approaches.